Stuff my face with bread! With breasts! With a shoulder of a friend! Damn. Hot damn. Welcome back to Pretty Much Experts. I'm Robert John. Lockdown, stay at home order, Toronto, Canada, still holding strong. Thank you, Bike Thieves, for the intro. Skylar with the bong rip. How you doing, brother? We, we don't know yet. We'll, we'll circle back, circle back. Mike, Vancouver, Canada, Tim Hortons parking lot. Or are you in Canadian Tire right now? Where are you? Fuck yourself. <laughs> Fuck yourself. <laughs> then back for two weeks in a row. G, tattoo artist extraordinaire, Guelph, Ontario. Love you, dude. What's up, baby? Yeah, baby. Hey, G. Fuck you. Yeah. Double down. Always double, double down. Double down. If you're going to yeah, do it once, do it twice. Down. No regrets. That's right. Sometimes you got to. You know, the show last week was so much fun. Oh, my God. had to do it again. You got to When just you keep win it all on fucking black, you got to let it ride. Yeah, let it ride. Let it ride. <laughs> let it rip, baby. You got to get pitted. If you thought we were drunk last week, let it ride. Let it ride. Let it ride. Speaking of black, we're talking to Mike's favorite penises. Yeah. And his, the way he likes it. <laughs> Mike likes his coffee like he likes his penises. <laughs> no, actually, actually, no, I do extra creamy. Yeah, okay, I do. I oh, a little bit of cream. I do. I like a nice creamy A little bit of mix. I like a Irish. <laughs> like to mix it up. Yeah. yeah. I like my dicks like I like my Claire's, nice and creamy. <laughs> nice and creamy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say I don't like my Claire's creamy. I mean, I can't deny that. <laughs> Who wants Mike, a dry you Claire? You know what? Yeah, Mike, Mike get like mine. Why get the Claire if you don't want it fucking creamy? <laughs> I mean, yeah. that's where I'm at. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, RJ, so, get off your fucking phone, I, you cuck. I mean, I'm okay, trying to, right. like, I'm trying, like, we had a hot question on oh, last week's show. Yeah, I'm trying that? to get a rebuttal for this week's. It's been sealed. We oh, got a okay. rebuttal. Re- ready. Got Good a go. rebuttal? Should we just go right into it? What, what, we, we, we got a rebuttal? Already? Yeah. We had fan Stu interaction. Came out to we his, Stu fan? came out to his dad last week. Wow. We, can we, wait, we can wait. We can wait. We can wait till the end. Well, wait. Wait till the end. Wait till the end. You know what? I think that's called suspense. It's suspense. Yeah, Cliffhanger. yeah. Let's, Cliffhanger. let's hold it off for a bit. Yeah. Cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. yeah for yeah, people that listen, I don't know why you would listen to the entire show last week. We were, you know, belligerent oh. the entire time. It's, but it ended with a beautiful a fan yeah. question <laughs> from Brian or Stu. You know, jury's out. Yeah. This week, we got a, re- we got a rebuttal. Like, it, yeah, it, it shock waves amongst the internet, amongst the Georgetown <laughs> fan base. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? It's a big fan base. Yeah. Big fan base, big, big fan, fan base. base. You know, it didn't take long. Did not take yeah. long to get a rebuttal. <laughs> you know, and stay tuned till the one hour mark. <laughs> it's it's a good it's a it's a dilly of a question, boys. It's a good rebuttal. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a good rebuttal. We'll hang that. Ooh, you know, I'm hang excited. I've never heard oh, so we are, I, I thought it was it's coming. a dilly. It's a, I, it's a dilly. I, I, it's I a little dilly. Good. It's about Jack and Diane. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little dilly about Jack and yeah, Diane. It's a dilly. little dilly involved. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So dilly, I guess, I guess it's Irish almost like you got to you got to stick around to the end. You got to stick to around the end of the show. Yeah, to get the rebuttal. Thanks for okay. uh, yeah. people tuning in this if week. If you stuck but... around to the end of last week, then you have to stick around to the end of this week. <laughs> so what are we gonna talk about for the next fifty minutes then? I don't know. I'm out, dude. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking like eight beers deep right now. Oh, yeah, we're I'm, going I'm for eleven. We're going for eleven right then. Jesus. Yeah. Get some more. In I there. mean, I, I'm we not could done. talk about uh, talk about all kinds of things. Bro. How's uh, how's cooking Netflix? in the winter going for you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how's winter cooking? <laughs> so winter cooking? the other day I was, that was cooking a barbecue. in winter. Fucking I was God. barbecuing. And uh, yeah. it was cold. Middle of the cold dead of the winter. Fuck. No. Yeah. Dead, dead of winter. It was like six o'clock. It was dark out. Huh. And. Uh, yeah, it was it was delicious. Uh, it was absolutely worth the time and the trouble. 
but it was fucking cold. Like we're getting into oh. that cold part of the winter. That I think that crown. Yo, you know what? My God, I feel like I want to talk about this. Bring it. But I didn't fucking bring it up. But gender equality? No. Get wage oh, no. gap? No. Let's talk about like Get real pressing. Gap. Let's talk about real yeah. pressing issues, Kenny. Can, <laughs> can we? You got some activism um, you want to yeah, fucking? Yeah. What kind of activism are you blowing up right now? So this is like super. Yeah. Uh, Super late. Like, I feel like this is, like, a the, the premise of this show. Like, shit happens, late, and like then we period. just don't fucking comment on it for, like, a month and a half. Yeah. But I'm talking yeah. I'm talking about Groundhog Day here. Oh, yeah, that was so long oh, ago. Oh, yeah, you did have a hot take on Groundhog Day. Yeah, okay. And, like, up here in Ontario, Canada, our boy Wyerton Willie is, like, our go-to. Wyerton Willie, baby. The, the source <laughs> Wait, is of... Wait, is that the guy? The yeah, it's the guy. Why are you doing CBC News, bud. It's a groundhog. It's a groundhog. It's not a real person. It's a ground beaver. But, uh... Yeah. Earth beaver. That's the guy. He's like 400 years old or something. Yeah, yeah. I think it might be Wyerton the third, actually. I think it's Wyerton How are they still doing this? I don't get it. How are they still... I mean... It's Come Canada, on. dude. Yeah. What else do we got going on? It's malarkey. On? Like, <laughs> you know? the, the town of fucking Come Wyerton, on. like, dresses up like a bunch of cucks and, like, acts as if it's, like, colonial days, and they're gonna, like, d- d- like <laughs> tell you tell you something that you don't fucking know. Like, hey, spring's yeah, coming. Three-pointed that, hats. That's the end like, of the yeah, quote. It's, like, it's, it's Canada. We got four seasons. Spring's coming. We know. But so, yeah. okay, so the Wyerton yeah. Willie... Dates back to like 1956. This is the the, the that's wow. it. I would have said older. I would. I would have said older. No, that's the thing. It's yeah. so new. Like they didn't yeah. do it's this back in the day branded. at all. There's no reason to dress like that. Is what I'm saying. Right? Yeah. Like you could just dress in your normal clothes. <laughs> it's not that old. Like, <laughs> you are making but the this whole up. town dresses like a bunch of fucking DSs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but so, either way, like, here's this. I'm just gonna read this. This is all from Wikipedia, dude. And that's crazy because I didn't know that. I thought it was in those times where they wore tall hats. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, same. Yeah. Like you know, like over on the main flower, eighty buttons yeah, exactly. on their fucking lapel and shit. Like, yeah. You know, like. But like, how does that shit. even like? So they come over on the Mayflower, the 20s right? At and they, least. they the survive 20s for like the least. whole summer, yeah. and then none of them survive through the winter, but a couple of them do. And then like they come <laughs> out one day, and there's like a groundhog running around. They're like, "Wow, like Please, finally something on. cool has happened." And then like six weeks later, when it's spring, they're just like, "Hey, it's been six weeks since we saw that groundhog. Like, let's yeah. let's remember. Remember that. that groundhog we saw? Yeah, that yeah. that was six weeks ago. That must mean that spring is coming, right?" Yeah. <laughs> that was the most exciting thing that happened, yeah. Okay, so but either way, this Wyerton Willie guy has been around for like a while. And, but, <laughs> nah, like, so not here, really. Not really. <laughs> not really. Not really. I'm just no. reading this. I'm reading this from Wikipedia word for word. Like, I don't sure, know, cite sure, me. Sure. I don't give a fuck. No one's listening. Cite your resources. It says okay. it's been around for a while. That's what it says on Wikipedia. <laughs> That's what Wikipedia. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't say that. I'm, I'm this dude's like, been around for quite some time. Everything after yeah. I drink, drink this beer is what okay. it says from Wikipedia. That beer is older than Wyron Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just wait. Okay. Yeah, that original, batch is old, dude. Yeah. The original it's old Wyerton, Milwaukee, it's old not Milwaukee. new Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The original Wyerton Willie lived to the advanced age of 22 and was found dead only two days before Groundhog Day in 1999. Oh my god! <laughs> what a story! What a story! The organ, the organizers two were days. unable. The un- organizers were unable to find a replacement and instead marked Groundhog Day by revealing Willie in a coffin. He had been dressed in a dress in tuxedo, had coins over his eyes, and a carrot oh, between his paws. <laughs> Jesus. I feel like that's animal abuse. That's the most <laughs> morbid no, Groundhog Day. They fucking fuck Groundhog animal day. abuse them? If um, they pull the corpse out on Groundhog Day, what does that mean? That's and animal it's... abuse. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It means, I don't know, spring ain't coming. Um, <laughs> Y'all fucked. You're done. The real, the real Willie had in fact <laughs> decomposed, and the body in the coffin was that of an older, stuffed groundhog. The Associate Press was obliged <laughs> to issue a retraction on its wires. Wyerton Willie's creepers, 
keepers groom understudies. Like he had, so he had oh. understudies. There were like, Ugh. in case in case Wyerton <coughs> really willies? dies, There's there are willies? like <coughs> they're wee willies is what they're oh, called. Wee willies, wee willies? Makes wee willies? Sense. Wee willies poof yeah. poof? So we, uh. <laughs> Wyerton Willie had understudies nicknamed wee willies. During the elder, oh my God. During, the elder we willies. during the elder groundhog's <laughs> lifetime, to eventually replace the reigning Wyerton Willie when they die. Wyatt and Willie oh, oh, typically have a lifespan longer than four to nine years, and thus the other groundhogs may have served in the role unreported. Willie, yeah, twenty-two Wyatt years. Willie, I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, wait so like they only four years, years out and there twenty-two, and they report gap. the first death in ninety-nine <laughs> when they pulled it out live. <laughs> yeah, dead. totally. Fifty uh, years later, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wyerton Willie the second reported as deceased on July 11th, 2006, after fighting an infection on the previous month. How do they know that? How, do how the fuck guy? do they know? <laughs> the how often did they fucking infection? drag that thing out of the hole? Yeah. Oh okay. On, ter- exactly. okay on, on September 15th, 2017, Wyerton Willie third that died at 13. Two-year-old V. <laughs> Willie became Wyerton Willie the fourth. On September 30th, 2017. Sounds like a doctor's conciding with <laughs> conceding, uh, conciding with a memorial service for the old Wyerton Willie. And then the next Ridiculous. fucking like, subheading here in bold is Death of Cubs <laughs> Controversy. Whoa. Oh. Oh, in, a controversy. In, yeah. So, like, unless <laughs> controversy th- this turns isn't out. Enough, this, oh, sorry, sorry. This spoiler groundhogs yeah. eat their babies. <laughs> You know. <laughs> they do. That's what like, they do. Fucking spoiler. 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 Yeah, quick tease here. Yeah. Long winter. But so, like, this has been going on for like 50 years. They've never recognized a death of one of these groundhogs. <laughs> and now all of a sudden it's like, oh, yeah, like, there's been like. They, they, they only live five years. And now the death of the <laughs> Dude, cubs, <laughs> There's the cubs, been hundreds of them. There's yeah. been hundreds, hundreds of them. Of and you only care like 99. The third? They're calling them may- the third? That's like such a slap in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? It's like, like 103rd, right? Yeah. In May 2003, two Wyerton Willies, we Willies, yeah, disappeared. Three <laughs> months later, they were found dead in the burrow where they had resided with Willie. Because groundhogs oh, are known to be territorial animals, Willie was suspected of killing the two. An <laughs> allegation that was never proven. You can't prove Fran- it. Francescan <laughs> Dobbin, who looked <laughs> after Listen, the they groundhog. proved that he had an infection. Like, they proved that he had an infection. <laughs> 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 Francesca, who was who had looked after the groundhogs, informed her sounds immediate hot. supervisor, who hot. chose not to inform the Wyerton City Council of the incident, fearing bad publicity. The council agreed to allow Dobbin to keep her job despite despite the scandal. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A real so, person's life was almost affected by these groundhogs. <laughs> by these fucking dead <laughs> groundhogs. Eating their own and just fucking... Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I thought this was... Dude, it, it I should... can't believe I spoilered all of that and I was just shooting from the hip. Yeah. I had never read that Wikipedia before, you know? Yeah. I'm he wiped from out the, the next generation. It. It's like a fucking like Darth Vader and w- wiping out all the Padawans or whatever. Just... <laughs> you're done. This you're tradition's done. over. Okay. You're done. It's over. Okay, J.K. Rawlings or fucking yeah. whatever. <laughs> like maybe it was like a snow piercer moment, or you know, Ooh. where it was like we got to rebel. <laughs> like the only way to stop this terrible tradition is to wipe out the next generation. I mean, it sounds maybe. awful lot like Terminator too. You know, yeah. you get you get you could get there with Terminator. Best Terminator movie. Which is it? Two. T2. Two. Two. Yeah. There's yeah. no debate. Uh, I'm, you know what? You know what? I take it back. I'm a Genesis guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I really like Genesis too. Genesis was really good. I like that whole yeah. apocalyptic world. That was really cool. You know what? I I don't think I've even seen Genesis. I, I didn't see <laughs> You're it. Just no. being a piece of shit. What it's was just... the one urgent that we saw then the theater recent? That was a good one. I don't cool. know what it was called. What's the no, last you one? Know what? <laughs> you know T3, what? T3, the T's back in town? No, it was like <laughs> <the> Terminator <laughs> 7. I like the Retribution one, uh, or something. Like, it was a newer one. I like Salvation wow. with Christian Bale. Christian Bale? Else. Oh, wait, maybe Salvation. Maybe that's the one I'm talking about. I like that one. That, that one's one was sick. Like, no. The post-apocalyptic. You know yeah, what? yeah, yeah. That one's yeah. cool. That but one's there's really also, good. like, okay... So again, like this is the worst discussion because I don't remember what any of them were called, but I did Me like either. the one after Christian Bale where they went back and redid like Terminator Two or some shit. 
No, they redid Terminator One where yeah, he like that was kind of cool. He like kills the punks again. Like yeah, that, that was thing, cool. Yeah. Huh. And they had like old Arnie back. Like that was kind of cool. Yeah. I think you're using cool a little liberally. Here. I mean, it was interesting because like as a kid, we even thought like if you can send Terminators back through time, why'd you not just send back like four at a time? Like why would you not do that? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what well, that movie might was. Be, like, it might be too obvious though, because they're all the same model, right? So it's like. But it's time travel, you buddy. Four you can just send one back every around. three seconds. Is there, what? Just send one back every three seconds. It's like it's time travel. But maybe they don't have like the resources to do that. In the yeah, the, 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 like the, the future. The, I don't know. Like the, it's a like movie. the fusion energy. <laughs> they to, have like, the resources. <laughs> maybe, maybe they don't got the fusion energy to like send the fucking yeah. Terminators back. You know. Maybe the maybe the robot Congress <laughs> just won't pass that motion. I don't. Yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the We're not going to send that many electric orbs over. Yeah. Right. Why do they send it back uh, naked? Listen, uh, you know, come on. I'm a Terminator yeah. denier. Okay? Oh, okay, so you're gonna have to do wow. a lot more than that to convince me. Sure. Sure, sure, wow. sure. Okay. You know what? To be honest, I think of all of the time travel movies, the time the Terminator one kind of makes the most sense to me. Hmm. But well, yeah, you well, would what? you would go back in time, but like to go back and kill humans. John Connor. Like, why not go back and kill like Hitler too? Just for you know, yeah, that's no, been they done. did. They probably did. Yeah, yeah. You think? You're right. You know, you think, that would be. You think John Connor would be a little lower that, on the though. list? Yeah. yeah. Every movie's done that. Deadpool's done that. You got to think of something more original. Think on your toes. Yeah. Take yeah, out Deadpool Jeff Bezos. did it like after both. Terminator. Yeah, go back and drop Obama. Maybe. Obama's got to go, yeah. <laughs> Obama? <laughs> Not because what? I don't agree, just because I, I want to shake, like, shake, shake things it up. You can say it. Shake it up. Shake things up. Shake it up. Wasn't a fan of Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> Take out Hillary at the same time, even playing field. Yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> even playing field? <laughs> No, they don't. They don't relate. Also, also quick sidebar, like, there's no way I'm going to make it to the end of the show. Like, I've had way too much to drink. Like, things are fading. Oh, you'll make it. And if you got a pinky, do it on the floor. I'm going to puke, for sure. That's going to happen. Yeah, I'll puke on the floor. Oh, do it on the show. Right on. Yeah, yeah. That's content. Yeah, I'll do that. That's has not, not been done before. That's already happened. Yeah, you, yeah. You for sure puked on this fucking show. For sure. Cuck. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a bag nearby, but I'll just puke on the floor, whatever. I thought so the gee, I'm pretty sure RJ's puked. He's definitely pissed. Yeah. And he might even have shit himself on this show. I don't know about that. I don't know. Oh, wow. I haven't, I haven't oh, done the trifecta. <laughs> that yeah, That's a bad, shameful bad thing right there. That's shitting shameful. yourself. That's, that's shameful. shame one. That's shameful. That's shameful. That's itself. pretty shameful. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. pretty common shame. Though. Yeah. I mean, not to say that it's normal <laughs> or acceptable, He's but it's common. common shame. I don't yeah. know. It's common. Well, I've only shit my pants once in my adult life, G. So you're preaching to the choir here, and it was recently, and we talked about it. <laughs> 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 you don't need to. Bring but it I mean, up like here. I'm getting older, so it's kind of like, I just, and I hear about it more often. It's just kind of par for the course. Older? What are you, eighty? What do you mean? <laughs> 79. No. <laughs> God damn, yeah, I'm boy. old. I'm old. Definitely, I'm old as shit. Yeah, I've also been fat party. for 30 years. You gotta dude. plug like, that old ring your up. Age. You gotta plug it up. <laughs> Does double your age, yeah. You need a man yeah. pond. Being fat and smoking fucking doubles your age. <laughs> smoking hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Micah's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Both. I, yeah, I feel like last week I, I talked from, about. I come like, from my, good my step new, seed. Yeah, my new hobby of blowing art, and it was like, isn't your dad's name art? <laughs> wow, you do like the blow art. art. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. My dad says hi, by the way. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was just his birthday the other day. Did you call him? I, oh, you know I called him. He was there, I think. Yeah. No I need call to, him with a gaping yeah. ass. There's no need to phone <laughs> someone when you're pretty spewing. sure I was his birthday gift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I called him daddy while he fucked me. Deep. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, you know, 2021, it all, it's kids all, are crazy. <laughs> there's there's it's just all, sometimes when he's, exactly. he goes hard and I just can't stop saying, this is an art attack. This is an art attack. <laughs> this is an art attack. <laughs> that was a reach. That was a reach. <laughs> 
You know? thought I'm with you on fucking days. my dad. No, I just, I just thought that right thought there. Thought I went, that I'm that. totally with you on fucking my dad, falling in love, and ruining my parents' marriage. But art attack? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It was consensual. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, does anyone have a fucking actual topic here? Or no. What? No. no. <laughs> 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 Absolutely not, but stick around till the end. That's the problem. You gotta wait till the end. High note. You gotta wait till the end. Shows on a high note, yeah. 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 and we record two in a row because everyone yeah, yeah. knows and no yeah, one's yeah. listening. Continuity. So, like, yeah, yeah. Continuity. Yeah. Continuity. Yeah. It, that's always happens. We come in hot. Yeah, yeah. No, we don't come in hot. Is what I mean, saying, we well, left the hot. first one we left hot. Hype and hot. The first one's hot like, oh, because we haven't talked in like a week or two, and then we just like blow our load. And this is the spoon. Yeah. This is the spoon episode. Now, it's if spoon. only if only we had like a fourth person here that we could <laughs> maybe <laughs> ask questions. <Yeah. laughs> we could. Uh, you need a you need a fourth. Yeah, need a fourth person. We need another guest. G, how's your fucking COVID life treating? Yeah, we oh, COVID's no okay. different for me. I mean, I hang out by myself all the time, so I'm always like. It don't matter. Nothing's really changed other yeah. than not working. Which working. Is, I, yeah. This is this is like whatever. I yeah. the other day I was scrolling the Instagram and I saw a video of you interacting with a uh, <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage lookalike. At a, oh yeah, at that Camp was at Anarchy. Camp Anarchy, yes. And I thought that was like I watched that video like three or four times and just laughed. <laughs> 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 How much you knew about like Macho Man. Oh yeah, I love Ma- Macho Man. Is like my favorite wrestler. Really? Yeah, number he's one. That's your number, number one. one. That's your Macho number Man, one. Macho Man, number one wrestler, my favorite. Fuck. Okay. I, I mean, all I, day. I feel all like, day, baby. I feel like I've brought this up to you before, but like I think the first time I went to your house, you had like a little computer room on the first floor. Yeah. Yes. I yes. walked in with my lady friend at the time. And you and your brother were in there, and you're like, "What song's this? What song's this?" Like both of you were so fucking giddy, and you played <laughs> Owen Hart's entrance music. <laughs> 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 it's like din 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 or whatever, and I was just like, "What? Like a?" Who are these two fucking losers that are sitting around <laughs> listening to this music? And B, and I B, know what yeah. song it's that is. <laughs> <laughs> and B, it's obviously Owen Hart. It's yeah. obviously Owen Hart's entrance music. <laughs> enough is enough, and it's time for a change. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> the best, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we used to do that shit all the time. Play wrestling music. <laughs> Oh man, but I just play used to own just the fucking like WWF like records. Oh yeah, man, the soundtracks, right? Like one to four. Yeah, just just cause you just need yeah. to hear four minutes of like <laughs> <Yeah. and> masters. <laughs> we had the like <laughs> We had a cassette. We had like the WrestleMania cassette. Dude, it was so good. Oh, it was yeah. so good. <laughs> <laughs> Break it down. Like I, <laughs> yeah. Back to the masters. Ten, ten years old getting pumped in the oh back. My oh my god. Oh, drinking rock dude. Just getting so on the way to the up. cottage. Yeah. Oh, Put on Steve roll. Blackman like, yeah. again. <laughs> Steve Blackman. Steve Blackman. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, oh, just dreams. four minutes of entrance music, just sitting in the back seat <laughs> on the way to the cottage, like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Getting yeah. right fired up. Tarps <laughs> off, you know. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. Like, if we're talking favorite wrestlers, like, okay. I, I, like I'm not gonna, I'm not going Bret Hart because I know Bret it's Hart. Obvious. Is, like, yeah, my, yeah. But honestly, this is like no shame at all. Favorite wrestler, the Crippler, Chris Benoit. <laughs> wow, you should have shame. Wow. wow. <laughs> you wow. should. You should be shamed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Canadian legend, it's a little shame. Canadian murderer. <laughs> Man, like inside the squared circle. Yeah. Pound for pound, he best was wrestler fucking I've great seen. for sure. Okay, how how about this question? Who would you guys want to fight in the squared circle? <laughs> I'm gonna say fuck. Ooh, wow. I mean, I want to fight a woman because it'd be an easy I want win. Stone Cold <laughs> kicking my ass. <laughs> yeah. and I want to fight Terry Runnels. That's an easy win. 
My my mine would be uh, Scott Hall, Razor Ramon. No, right? you have no the chance. Old school, old wow. school. No wow, chance, no chance. Dead, He's gonna Mike, take you, dude. Dead. You, you, oh yeah, you I can't want, live I life want, on I the Razor's edge. Me. Are you kidding me? I want to lose. I, I want. Oh. I want. If lose. you okay, so okay, like now, if you're thinking hold on, no, like, shut up. shut up for a second, shut up. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Are, like, are we talking <laughs> Scott Hall now or Scott no, oh, Hall? Razor Ramon. Like when he was the bad guy. When he was the bad guy. The yeah, bad he's, the bad, like, yeah. he's oozing with cheese oh, Not the like, hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. Okay. 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 Yeah. All, yeah. All so now you shut up for a minute. So if G's thinking, I want to take a razor's edge, smiling ear to ear. Yeah. Yeah. I want to take an angle slam ear to ear. Wow. Oh, wow. Like, that's where I'm going. Really? Yeah, I'll wow. take angle. I'll go fucking angle slam, fucking hit the mat, put in the angle lock, I'll tap out, but it's like, this is perfect. Yeah. Wow. Dude, yeah, yeah. Interesting. I, I, you could have asked me at any point in my life, and I would have said Stone Cold Stunner at <laughs> any point. Oh, in my life. that'd be wow. cool. Seriously. Yeah, that's a good yeah, one. I, mean, I want to get fucking oh. murdered by a guy who has a fused neck. That guy is so badass. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> turns yeah. like Michael Keaton's Batman. Yeah, yeah he turns his whole upper body. Like, this is, <laughs> yeah, like, he's, so, he's so badass. But he's the one stunning everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's fucking everybody. Watch yeah. your neck. Yeah. Fucking. Where in reality, he's getting stunned yeah. with every step he Tombstone takes. back. <laughs> yeah, his whole back is getting stunned. <laughs> like I don't know. Like I, I'm just not even Catch that. Nerves. He's my favorite wrestler at all. But, but if, he I is. Could ha- if I could fight somebody, yeah, that's think, the thing. It's different, right? Yeah, I think yeah. I would want to take some fucking chops. Ooh, from, Ric Flair from Nate. From, wow. From who? Yeah. Shit. From who? Nate? Yeah. <laughs> no, not Triple H. <laughs> Triple H don't chop. Fucking Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Oh, the Nature oh, Boy. Oh, Rick Flair. okay. Oh. That's yeah. what I, th- I think that would be. I thought fun. you said Triple H. I was like, what? <laughs> and you know what? I would fight him. You now. want that guy's I... dick in your face? Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I would. I would fight Ric Flair now too. Like, if he's ninety years old, oh, I'd fight him now. Yeah. Fighting him right now would be way more fun. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Even when he was on he's my radar, drunk. he he's was like fifty. Drunk. Yeah. So am I. Okay, so yeah, here's here's a, a here's a flip yeah. question. Flip it's question. Flip fair. question. You got one. You only got one thumb. He's been alcoholic for 60 years. It's a fair fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gouge him in one eye. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, so here's the flip question. You and a professional wrestler are going into the ring, and it's agreed upon this is professional wrestling, but fucking you weird. know it's not. And I'm going to fucking just run over and kick them in the fucking chest and try and fight them. Who you yeah. want to fight? Sadio oh, Vega. <laughs> You're not beating Savio. <laughs> I'm beating Savio Vega. Fuck him He's up. a brawler. I hate him. He's from I, Puerto I, Rico. I, I, I know. I you, just I didn't like him. I'm breaking like the him. gender barrier here, and I'm saying China. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I no. love China. China's going to take you all. I'm kicking my her dad, right in her muscular tits. Dude, okay. my dad got her Playboy. Yeah, I you saw that shit when I was young. Dude, she got has a, a penis in Playboy. Yeah. I don't know how. There's a penis <laughs> no, she in doesn't. There. It's not getting her right in her fucking meat. <laughs> Get her right in her muscular vagina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just catches it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just snaps my ankle with her vagina. Her <laughs> vagina strength, yeah. China strong. Yeah. Did That's she a- ever fight a man in the ring? Yeah. yeah. Chris yeah, Jericho, Kobe, all, all the time. Yeah, yeah, Eddie she Guerrero, was co-champions yeah. with Chris Jericho. I just don't. I just don't remember. I yeah, was too busy. You're not a real fan. You're a fucking coward. No, yeah. of I'm not a coward. I just <laughs> had a life. Okay. So, you're, you're, so your dream fight is this, the strongest woman they got. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why the strongest? Take gotta, on fucking Deborah. Gotta take, gotta take, no, Kick gotta her take off the fucking edge of the spot. ring. I'm gonna fight their. I'm gonna fight their strongest. No. She would beat yeah. you the fuck up. I'm taking on Jr. Yeah. That's my. You'd I, I'm gonna beat her. Right I'm right gonna now. fight Jr. She's dead right now. Okay. You. She wasn't beating anybody up. She is dead. Oh, right she's now. dead. Yeah. Okay. You can pin her easily. Are you fighting her now? I would have got her. I would have got her. I would have got her in 2010 when she was like three weeks from fucking dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have been a fair fight. China okay. three weeks out. Yeah. Three weeks out. Okay. Just help me out. I'd probably do. I'd probably do Vince McMahon. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. dude, he is fucking 
rip. He's pretty jacked. Yeah. I know, I but just th- the owner, you know, just to, to, to know you kick the owner yeah. right in the stomach as hard as you yeah, could. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Be pretty or cool. his little owner's son, Shane, too. That, that little fucking... Yeah, well, you know what? I like Shane. Shane. I like, I like Shane. Shane. Shane's cool. But I, I could I like one-up you and, like, let's kick Dude, Linda in the stomach. <laughs> I want to kick oh, Miss Elizabeth yeah. in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Tell that to your macho man G. What's that about Elizabeth? Come oh. on, bro. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man. Uh. And then I kick Macho Man right in his slim gym. <laughs> Fucking cut. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> that was oh terrible. my god. That was a reach. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, but I I got out of wrestling right around the time that like, people started letting me finger bang them. You know what I mean? Like I had other shit to do. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. That's like fair. I was I was I we were of that age where like buying magazines and trading cards was still cool up to a certain point. So like I had all the trading cards and magazines and all that shit growing up, right? Yeah. That's still I cool. Was, I was thinking the other day about how it's like nostalgic. <laughs> it, Valentine's Day was the other day. I remember like the the best part about Valentine's Day was I would always get the like coolest WWF Valentine's oh, Day yeah. card, card. To pass out yeah from your school. mom. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah for sure. Mom. Go buy me yeah. some WCW. Like totally. uh, here's a question totally, for you: if totally. you could if you could have any fucking wrestler by your side <laughs> for a tag team match. Who would it be? Ooh. I'll go first. Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, oh wow. the people's champ. Wow. Bang. Wow. Bang. Wow. Yeah. I kind of want Bam Bam Bigelow. Wow. You're not yeah. fucking with Bam Bam. Two time. He's part two-time. of the Jersey Triad. Him and DDP. Yeah. Two time. <laughs> Him and Kenyon. <laughs> Who's better than Kenyon? Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Me and Bam Bam as a tag team can't beat that. G, who you who you picking? You know what? This is like out of left field, but because he's a fucking powerhouse, Vader. Ooh, it's time. He's fucking mean, <laughs> baby. Time. He's mean. It's time. It's Vader time, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's badass in that flame suit, dude. That's tough. When it was that like time. blue and shit. Are you talking about Bam Bam Bigelow <laughs> or Set. Vader? That time he showed up on Bo- <laughs> Boy Meets World. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the star Who had the Boy Meets World? Suit? Was that. it Vader? No, you Vader had the black and red suit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah red with his, like with the mask. The right? mask. With the his mask. Hair, yeah, yeah. The yeah, hair the matched mask. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then he yeah. fucking showed up on Boy Meets World as like Corey Matthews' <laughs> is bully's dad. <laughs> oh, Sean's dad? Yeah. Oh was he Sean's dad? <laughs> How do you not? How do you not know that? Was you know, know Vader? You, not know that. you didn't watch oh, BMW? Oh. Yeah. Corey Matthews. <laughs> what is <this> world? Topanga? <laughs> oh, Come on. It's called TGIF. Mr. Feeny? Yeah. I remember that old, their old Feeny? Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Feeny. Oh, yeah. Mr. Yeah, Feeny. Mr. Feeny. Mr. Feeny. What a uh, fucking pervert. What the hell was that guy doing hanging around? Wait, he was a pervert? <laughs> fucking pervert. I'm trying to fuck him, obviously. <laughs> he was a yeah, school teacher. What do you mean? Obviously. Fuck Feeney and his sentiments. He He's being all sentimental all the time and giving advice. Like, go fuck yourself, you old cuck. You know? <laughs> could you imagine? Could you imagine being in high school and your old ass principal's trying to get all heartfelt with you? <laughs> you know? I want that guy in the ring on the opposite side. <laughs> I kick him in his I kick him in his muscular dick. Mr. Locke, get me fucking Mr. Locke in there. Oh I'm dude, don't even Mr. get me Locke started hard. on that fucking dude, Mr. Oh. Do you think Mr. Yeah. Locke had a muscular dick or Ain't. <laughs> he had a muscular vagina for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure would he, he catch it? But like would he catch it <coughs> if he fuck if he threw oh, yeah. one? Two loves of oh, bread. No, it's not that muscular. No. No. I'd say, if anything, he's got, like, a long, thick vagina. Like, <laughs> it's just, like, long and droopy. Like, the dude was so soft. Like, it like goes to his no belly button. Fucking like, it's just long. Yeah. yeah, it'd be more like a yeah. like an extended extension of his belly button. No feeling, yeah. you know? No. Just looks like he's yeah. got, a, like, a pound of ground beef between his legs. <laughs> pound of ground? That guy was pound such a fucking tool, man. I don't know how uh, he came up in... He was such a piece of shit. Covers. 
such a piece of shit. Where do you think you, he is now? You brought him up. <laughs> I don't know how I've, I've even <laughs> stumbled like that on that. Fucking Mister Lock. Do you think yeah, he's still yeah. a teacher? I, I don't know. I hope he's got a daughter a so shit. I can fuck her. I mean, he might. <laughs> <laughs> I think he did, didn't he? I think he did. I don't know. I think he did too. He yeah. did. He did have a, she like, she a, like a like a kid younger. in grade nine or some shit. Yeah. Didn't yeah, you have a girl with there, a similar bro. last name, Scholar? Yeah, no. Well, unrelated? He unrelated? He totally did. Unrelated? It was not related. Not uh, related. I don't know. It sounded related. No, it doesn't. Could have been like one of his nieces. Mm, could have been a cousin. Good. I you think know? it was I think it was Loke. It was Loke. <laughs> <laughs> e. It was Loke. <laughs> with the E X something G. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because he had the E. He had the E. Yeah, she, oh, he did. She had like a something uh, uh, on her uh, uh, okay. Okay. Doesn't look count. Look doesn't bad. count. Doesn't look count. You gotta, you gotta look. spit it out. Look. Look. Yeah. It's not Patrick. Yeah. It's not Patrick Roy. It's Patrick Roy. You know. Pr- Patrick Roy. <laughs> 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 Patrick Roy. <laughs> Patrick Roy. <laughs> <Patrick. laughs> <laughs> right? Like, come on. <laughs> Learn French or don't fucking speak it. Honestly, or don't play what hockey. are you people doing? Or don't play hockey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, G, did you move to Georgetown when you were like 13 or whatever you said? 12? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know anybody. From, what was that what? like? No, that's a that's a hard upbringing. It's a hard yeah. town to move into. We were all, Everyone was like... Very you know, clicky. Just so fucking white. wild and crazy. Everyone was white. A lot, white. White. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of white. Yeah, there's a lot of white. Yeah, ninety-nine percent for sure. 99%. Well, because because uh, oh, yeah. where, where I where I grew up, I wasn't the minority, right? Like I grew up around all races: blacks, Hispanics, yeah. Asian, fucking Indians, like everybody, right? And when yeah. I moved to Georgetown, it was like, yo, cows and white people. I'm like. <laughs> What the fuck, dude? The fuck, Dad? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. the air smells like shit going into here. I'm like, oh, what sure the fuck? Did. For sure I'm it like, did, all the time. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? I'm like, where are we moving Winds to? Winds are this blowing, place is you fuck. smell it right in the middle of town. I'm like, we're gonna die here. <laughs> we're gonna be hung. So the, I see we're that guy, be... he had a hood. <laughs> we're gonna be hung. It was fucked. Yeah. It was witchy. It was kind of scary, to be honest. It was like, I was like more scared to live there f- at the beginning than where I currently was. Jesus. Yeah, but yeah. that's just because it's new. There wasn't anything actually scarier and daunting about Georgetown. I mean, yeah, well, no, it, white. it, it no was because everyone was white. It was because everyone was white, and I wasn't used yeah. to that. Well, it just come, but it, the socioeconomic level isn't going to be any different, really, than anywhere else. There's like the whole spectrum of people there, right? None of us were yeah. fucking rich or, yeah. you know. No, or, but it's still different. Like, you know, like there's, I can see it there's, oh, yeah. a, there's areas yeah. where I lived and, and where it's yeah. like you just don't go at night, right? Yeah. You just don't yeah, fucking yeah. go there. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Like Georgetown, like I remember when I moved there, someone's like, Two in the don't morning. go there. That's the ghetto. I'm like, what? Like that <laughs> looks so nice. Oh, dude. Yeah. That's you know what I mean? I used it's to like, hang out down there all the time. Like in that's Georgetown, you can homes. walk anywhere all night, yeah, all day. Yeah. Right, but like yeah, no. There, areas where I grew up, it was like all out. Eh, you want to be that, careful a little. I always thought that was yeah. funny. The only would... people you ran into on the street were people that you either fully knew or half knew. Like in yeah. Georgetown, if it was past midnight, you always knew the people you were bumping into, even if you only half knew them. It's like you always knew them, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. always like refer to parts really of Georgetown quiet, as like the ghetto shit, and it's just like. Oh yeah, it's because they I, never left Georgetown. But it's just like, yeah, like man, like, I don't think yeah. you know ghettos are. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. That's pretty fucked up to say. Like, yeah, I I didn't start hearing that until we were in our teens. Like people calling it the get, like John just was it John. Street I was gonna there, say like that was the John only Street? area that I would, I didn't like really fucking with at night, like John Street. <laughs> John Street. Dude, I'd hang out. The, I'd hang out there all the time, and my drug dealer lived down there. You know? He did, yeah. That both of them, both of them. Yeah. I saw yeah. his ween one time. That was weird. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? See his dick. <laughs> because I went to I went to go pick up drugs off of him, and he forgot that I was off, coming. Off, and... His name His name is actually Ra. Wah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. 
And yeah. he fucking no, he forgot I was coming. He like went and took a shower, and so like I walked into his place. Dude, there's no way was... he forgot you were coming. He flashed no. you. Yeah. He, no, yeah. Yeah. He, he was, like, he was he trying was, to fuck you, dude. He was baiting me, yeah. And <laughs> like so, I, I walked presenting. in and like sat in his kitchen because like I heard the shower going, and it's like okay, oh, like that whatever. Place was so nasty. And then dude. as soon as it was like done, he walked out and was just wearing like a fucking like Metallica T-shirt that was like three <laughs> oh sizes too big. Oh my god, he, he shirt cocked you. He yeah. shirt cocked you right <laughs> in the shower. Just wow. His shirt and nothing else. <laughs> no and, like, socks he, even, just shirt. And then, yeah, I remember him saying at shirt one point, just you. like. Hey man, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not wearing any pants. And I was just like, "That's <laughs> fine. I'm sorry. Pants I, on. I'm sorry. I'm making complete eye contact with you. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not fucking looking down. Like I can see your little oh fucking uncircumcised penis." Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, he was he uncircumcised. I don't know. He there wanted it, dude. That changes that everything. Like <laughs> that changes everything. Yeah. He wanted it. <laughs> That's unfamiliar. Is what I thought when I saw it. Unclean. Unclean. I've never. Yeah, I've, I've never, never kissed his, one of those I've never before. Seen, <laughs> I've never seen his bird, <laughs> but, but I've seen his mom in some pretty uh, whoof, challenging positions. Oh no! Oh, my <laughs> Who the she fuck she was a junkie about? though. Like like not to like make total fun of her. She was like a sure. full blown junkie. And like but she was like six hundred pounds. I don't know how she got around. It was it's just nuts. And like it's not actually really funny. Like in hindsight it's fucking funny. hilarious, but at the time As it's I'm like, saying it's, it's not like the, funny. it's like the same situation. You walk in and you're like, Oh my god <laughs> Like you don't you can't what even breathe. Fuck? Like it takes the wind right out of you. Yeah, you I'm know. here. I just want my drugs, and I'm gonna leave. And there's like his dick out. Oh, I'd and... hang out. I'd hang out down there. I'd never <laughs> seen his bird, but I'd hang out down there for sure. It was like there was a there was a couple hot, well not hot, but there was a couple fuckable girls that lived in the chunk <laughs> of houses, like right kind of next to them. Like they didn't they shared that driveway that split the middle, right? And then on the yeah. other side of it, there was like a couple. Like, they had most of their teeth, and they would jack you off, you know what I mean? So, like, I hung out down there a little bit. Like, I got, like, Raylene sucked my dick a bunch, like, you know? <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. She also put up some of your Mickey Mail numbers. Oh, yeah. She yeah, contributed she to that abortion king title. Some of my first. Some of my <laughs> first baby. <favorites. Yeah. laughs> my first fucking A couple dinger. of my first dingers, yeah. Yeah, she hung out down there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like you're fucking young, and like you're the only person you know that sells drugs. And it's like, I got my dog from down there. I got chunks from down there too. Yeah, I don't know. I think I don't like Ray Lynn was a good, nice person, but she definitely also had like a bit of a pie face to her. Oh my god, pie face, pie face. This was pie face. like, I mean, I hate to say it, it was dog shit. Dude, <laughs> like it was, <laughs> it was. Okay, as bad as they come, it face. really was as bad. It was really was as bad as they come. Like a, it what anything less, and it's not. It's, it's not like it's like G. It's like G. Like last week when G was saying he had that girl, and then all his buddies were like, "Whoa!" When he admitted to it, yeah, it was like yeah. if it was any worse, it would have been that moment every time you were with her. And public. like I, we shouldn't you know? say it, like it, Raylan wasn't her name. It was something else. But you know what I mean. It was like, something it was, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. Totally something else. I mean, yeah, sure. just his white sure. trash. Sure, I like... didn't just shout that out like off the off a cuff, like I was remembering a memory or nothing. No, it's totally something else. <laughs> yeah, I only said it with confidence because I heard it on the radio the other day. Yeah, because we were talking about her immediately before the show. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, no, like I don't know. She was nice. But she was a nice was, chick. We know. worked with her too at a at one of those factories down there too. Yeah, not applied wiring. Not applied like wiring. That. It wasn't, it never a, it wasn't applied, applied wiring. wiring. It was never. something like that, though. It was something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Dude, I used to have... That was like where I would hang out. Had, like yeah. in Silver Creek Towers, the old part of downtown, John Street, like in the Honk Bridge, like hanging out around the Honk Bridge and shit. Like that, and by the river. Well, that's the worst river part of town. Place. Back to like... It was a safe it town, except that was that worst part for sure. It was the it was the only part of town where it was completely unpredictable, and I fucking loved it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're getting sucked you off know? by Ray Lynn, the fucking dog face. I'm getting gremlin. sucked off by Ray Lynn. <laughs> I'm in someone's bathroom while their mom's smoking crack, and it's like, what? What is going on around here? You know what I mean? Like, 
<laughs> like I'm literally in a bathroom having a cigarette with a, wo- a grown ass woman that's smoking crack, and it's like I guess this is normal. I'm now, I'm, and the next day I'm in a shed with with five people smoking a joint as big as your arm, and it's like what? <laughs> you know, like you had no idea what Rick the fuck Steiner. was gonna happen. Rick Steiner getting fucked, get, getting fucked up, getting sucked off by dudes behind the fucking Burger King, like whatever. <laughs> you know? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> was the shed another place for you to do that? It was just the one guy in the middle yeah. of five dudes. Yeah, I'll take shed. it as it comes. Shed, <laughs> dumpster, Burger King. I mean, I'm, I'm easy. I'm easy. Georgetown Cinema 3 bathroom. Get what you get. Oh, Georgetown yeah. Cinema 3 for sure. I mean, Georgetown was a fucking... Like, I mean, gee, like, I mean, you moved there like right at the prime age where we were all out on the streets fucking yeah. around. And it's yeah. like, Georgetown was a great place to grow up. It, really it was, it was. Yeah, at that, yeah. You know what? It was great at that time because... Yeah, yeah, it's not we, fun we, anymore. We made shows happen. Yeah. We, like, we made shit happen, you know? Like, yeah. it was crazy. I, you know, it, it's weird that yeah, it's, there's like, shit going it, on. it was reckless, we but around. it was, like, a sheltered reckless... Where it wasn't like if the cops showed up, we were all getting fucking completely hassled. It was just like get out of here, you know? yeah, you yeah, fucking yeah. Idiot. You yeah. Know Yo, you mean? rascals. Like, yeah, yeah. I know a couple your mother. times, a couple yeah. times it got, I got out of hand. But you know what I mean. But it was just like we can totally get away with this mischief, and yep. no, we're not gonna get charged for mischief. <laughs> you know? No, yeah, like, no. Actually, I think that's the only thing we got charged with was mischief. I think it's the only <laughs> thing we got tickets for actually yeah. was mischief. Yeah, no, they were pretty good. Like, all things considered, the cops were fucking assholes, but, like, they were moderate comparatively. Like, at the yeah. time, it felt like the end of the world when you get a ticket. But then it's like looking, taking a step back or getting some age on you and looking back, it's like, oh, we had it so easy, dude. Yeah. Like, so oh fucking God, easy. Yeah. Like, we were little spoiled little bitches in that fucking town, you know? Yeah. Because you could. You could be like fucking... You could have fucking $1,000 in your pocket just walking in the middle of the night through the worst part of town and it's like no one's coming at you, you know? No. You're only going to see people you know fucking... I don't want to name names, but like, you know... Curtis. Fucking Chris, Mur- Chris Murray or C- <laughs> Curtis or someone fucking like, you know, like like smoking a joint walking down the middle of the road and it's like, oh, hey, dude, I don't got to go that way, but I'll walk with you for 30 seconds yeah, and smoke yeah. that joint. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, it's true. That was weird. It was just so relaxed, and like there's not a care in the world, and no one had to have a job, and it was like whatever, <laughs> yeah. you know. Everyone's trying to be a rapper. <laughs> everyone's, yeah, everyone's trying to be a rapper, or yeah, exactly, exactly. What was that about? Like that was fucking. I don't know. Weird. That was huge. There was a I huge, loved it. Huge I loved there it. Was just yeah. a bunch of white dudes thinking yeah. that they would like they were starting a movement. And yeah, call white. me sexual chocolate. I'm yeah. fucking take right off. Yeah. Salty dog. Like, you, right. you, know, you know what? You know what? Don't get me wrong. Like, I, whatever. You're doing something you love. You're trying to make it or you're whatever trying. it is, yeah, yeah, right? For sure. And it's cool you're trying, but like, you know, a lot of them were not good. None of them were no. good. You know? No. And Which nobody had the heart to tell them, though. you're yeah. not good. Yeah, and still, not good. still not good. Still, 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 yeah. Yeah. still, yeah, well, I'm still you right it. now. You, you're <laughs> still, 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 still out there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Got it. But it's just like nobody had the heart to tell him. It's like, yo, you're not that's it. great, and you're not yeah. probably at, gonna make it. So just you're never at the make time, it. though. It's like it's their whole personality, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. but that's they like have the, nothing else. All they have the, is sexual chocolate. <laughs> I mean, like that's the difference in the genres, though. Like, you can be in a bad punk band, and it's cool. Like you could yeah. sing about like killing your television, for example, oh, and yeah. Great right. everyone's gonna sing along, wow. and it's so fun. But it doesn't matter that like everyone's out of time, and like who knows what the fuck Shep's even doing over there. Like it doesn't matter. Right. But right. if you're a rapper, it's like it kind of has to be tighter than that. Yeah, oh, and that sucks. Rapper, it's a it's bad like, rap is like it doesn't totally pass. It's a little bit worse than yeah. a bad punk band. Bad punk band, like that's kind of yeah, sick. Totally yeah, yeah, we're yeah. all no still such, here for it. Yeah, we're no here for it. No such thing as a bad punk band. No, right? we're all like, here. It's, it's it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're all here it's for it. It's only gonna last twenty it, minutes. You know? Yeah, <laughs> we're all singing along. Everyone's fucking having a good time. It doesn't matter. But a bad hip hop like rap artist. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Yeah, what is going on? Well, and to be honest, we I don't know if it's like a nature versus nurture type of situation why it happened this way but like Georgetown was like fucking of our age people like within those five years 50% punks it really 
turn out. Oh, yeah. Or like not punks, but like fifty percent fringe. Degenerate. Yeah. You know what I mean? I or it was like oh, yeah. man, oh. it was like fifty percent fringe, and a lot of them were just hanging around with people that they knew that were into it because there was shit going on, skateboarding, parties, shows, whatever. It was like we grew up with a lot of like-minded people, really. If you look back on it, at the time it mm-hmm. felt like there was nobody. But yeah. really, like there was a yeah, couple yeah. hundred fucking dude. Kids. There's a lot. There's a lot. A lot. Like yeah. I remember, I remember like having buddies in Toronto, and they're like, "Dude, how many people are from Georgetown that go to shows?" I'm like, Everybody. Dude, a lot. Everywhere you go. They'd be like, "What Everywhere the fuck is yeah. happening?" Like this surge yeah. of kids coming in from totally. Georgetown. It was there's crazy. Still, there's still. I feel like totally. it, it never fails that like I'll go to some of the punk bands that I go to. Like I said, like when I went to Bouncing Souls that time, I ran into you. And it wasn't yeah. pre-planned. Yeah. It was just like, oh fuck, there's That's Jeep. crazy. Like, going I ran into crazy. a bunch of people, right? Yeah, and it's well, this and is it's actually like that with the like across the board of some of the punk bands that you see in the Toronto yeah. area. You know, like yeah, if they're yeah, coming, fuck. people Even, that we that hung area, out with back sure. then will go to them. I don't know. I yep. think it. I think, and even if you don't know them, it's like there's somebody that I recognize almost at every yeah. fucking show. Yeah, I in feel that like area. there was a scene in Georgetown for sure. There was a lot of people that like were into that scene because there it was a scene and not so much because they liked that thing. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. yeah. You know, but like there was definitely like that's we, what I meant when I you know said there it, used yeah. to be like I party buses that you would take from Georgetown to go see the fucking like Aquabats and shit. You know right. what I mean? It's called like, the it Go Bus. Thing. It's called yeah. the Go Bus. It's called the Go <laughs> Bus, yeah. And it wasn't the <laughs> shuttle. It was, you know. But like, yeah. I remember going to see direct. No... I remember going to see No Effects and no. sitting in the back of the bus singing mm-hmm. No Effects songs the whole way to the... Yeah, to like the that... Fucking, that like you, know, you know what? People. That's and not a thing. Like, it's not a thing. No, I know. Like know, even in right. other towns where they're like where they were similar to what Georgetown had, like that's not a thing where like you no. get a bus together and you yeah. go no. in this bus. Like it's a like that's yeah. unheard of. No, it's not a thing. That's because cool. everyone gets on the fucking two thirty bus because it's like this is prime time, you know. Yeah. yeah. I remember one time taking a bus to go see No Effects, and there was like ten of us in the back, and we were all fucking hopped up on liquor and. You know, cigarettes and marijuana. Yeah. Poppers. And we oh, yeah. Squiggly singing, news and we were squiggly singing, news and poopy We boos. were singing No yeah. Effects the whole way. And then, like, halfway through, somebody, like, was just like, can we just have a vote right now? Like, can we vote that everybody, like, who wants these guys to keep singing and who doesn't? And, like, yeah. who doesn't? And, like, ten people I totally put their this. hands up. Yeah. And then it's just like, who does? And it was like all. <laughs> It was like all of the group that we were with, and then there was like a secondary group in the front that also put all of their fucking hands up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep going. Like fifteen yeah. years, <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, slide. Yeah. Oh fucking! Yeah. It was, just, and then that was it. They would like yeah, the rest over. of the trip of the bus. Tribe is spoken. To this, is yeah, tribe this is spoken. something. This is something that. This is something that like G. I know for sure you can relate to because you just said it. But there was this guy. I got just quick story before we go into the whole Stu Hubley thing again. <laughs> like, yeah. there was this guy. He was he was like this like he was like our age. His name's Alex. He's blonde. He's French. Just and he was always at these shows, right? right. Like every fucking show we went to in yeah. our youth. You probably know him. He played in a couple popular bands around Toronto, right? I know who you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I ended up. At this random party with a guy that I met in BC, like my buddy in BC was like visiting Toronto, and yeah. and I was living here at the time or in Hamilton or whatever. He's like, "Come to my friend's house. We're having a party." I show up. It's this fucking dude. It's this Alex dude, and we Wilson. fucking. Are you talking about Alex Wilson? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Wilson. And we hung out all Wilson. Dude. He's a drummer. Fucking wow, great yeah. guy. Yeah. Love we hung out names. all fucking night. We hung out all fucking night. It wasn't actually his house. It was another guy's house. We hung out all fucking night, and we talked for hours and hours and hours about Where all were you? the Pierce's fucking house? shows. No, it was like some. It was some dude. It was like two dudes that lived together. Okay. Yeah, but in Meadowvale, in Meadowvale, but uh, oh shit, Streetsville or something like that. How long ago was this? Uh, 2014 or 15, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
It was a while ago. But we taught, we caught up and we talked about all these fucking shows, man. And like all these random people that it's like, you know this person from Georgetown. I know this person from fucking Myth Saga. And it was like this. And it was just weird to like run into him because he knew a guy that I had met 10 years after the fact. I met this other guy who's like now currently my friend. And he's introducing me to this guy that I've been talking, uh, bumping into for 10 years, 10 years ago. It was fucking, it was super weird. And I knew you knew him because I think like you're buddies with the guy, right? If it's if it's Alex Wilson you're talking about, it then, is. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really good buddy. Yeah, yeah. they all Alex went to Sakaka. L seven G. Sakaka. They all went to Sakaka. <laughs> okay. Yeah, That's it's pretty great. wild. It's awesome. But yeah, it's Georgetown man, it's fucking Georgetown punks, fucking. You know, it it all comes full circle like. They're it's everywhere. Funny, like yeah. even being out here in the West Coast, I I probably say at least a dozen fucking times I've run into someone that I didn't really know and like had a really good night like catching up with them. You know, they're yeah, from yeah. Georgetown. They're from the area. Well, that, they know people I know, and it's like that's that's a great thing about just being in like this scene is like uh, it's it's so big and it's like worldwide, but it's also very small and tight. Local, and, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like we. Yeah, yeah. You almost when look you out run, for each other kind of thing. When you run into somebody for sure. abroad for sure. and it's just like, oh, fuck Georgetown, it's like a, oh, mm. fuck Georgetown. Like, let's mm. let's go have yeah. a drink. Let's, yeah. you know, like, that's it's like, so crazy. It's that, it's that adage, like, blood's thicker than water, and it just feels yeah. like that, you know? Totally. Yeah. For sure. I agree. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for tuning in this week. We are Pretty Much Experts. You can check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, and YouTube. While you're at it, go have a look at our Facebook page. You can ask an expert any time of day or night, whatever you like. And if you're into it, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. We want to hear from you, baby. Thanks again, everybody. Tune in next week. We are pretty much experts, and we love you, I guess.